What's up, y'all? It's your boy Maestro. This is going to be such a treat. I'm excited for you guys to watch this and enjoy it. But before we get into it, I got to give you the backstory because the backstory is what made all of this possible. So, real quick, travel back with me to the year 2000, Y2K. Crazy year, right? Pop music was huge, boy bands were huge. Now, I grew up playing in church, so a lot of the music that I listened to and had access to in my house was gospel. But because I went to a public school, the kids would bring their CDs and their CD players to school, and that's a whole nother video if y'all don't know what a CD player is, but they would bring their CD players to school with NSYNC, Britney Spears, Backstreet Boys, 98 Degrees. So I was being introduced to this stuff, you know, as a 10, 11, 12 year old, and I loved it. I thought it was great stuff. So NSYNC, live in concert, HBO, I am tuned in. Now, when I start watching the show, I am completely floored. The production, the dancing, the music, the arrangements. There are screaming fans everywhere. And that place is packed. This is Madison Square Garden. There's not an empty seat. It's loud in there. It's just, it's incredible. The band was slamming. And the drummer, the drummer, y'all, none other than Mr. Billy Ashbaugh was back there just playing like his life depended on it. I was completely amazed, completely floored, and when the credits were rolling as the concert was ending, the band is playing some crazy fusion style outro that's blowing me away, but I see his name come up on the credits and I see drums, Billy Ashbaugh. And it is at that moment that I say to myself, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, I don't know how I'm gonna get there, I don't know who to call, I don't know who to contact, but I know that I wanna do that when I get older. And this is me, again, as a 10, 11 year old little kid. And it is at that moment that I decide that I wanna do what Billy Ashmore did. I wanna play professional drums in huge arenas with screaming fans playing pop music. That was literally what I was thinking that exact day. And it has become my reality, and I'm so grateful. But Billy Ashbaugh was the first drummer I saw in that realm. All my other favorite drummers at the time, I just heard them on records. I never saw their faces. I never saw them live in concert. Billy was the first one I saw live on television doing something so incredible like playing for NSYNC. And I knew I wanted to do that when I got older. So the fact that Billy and I are now buddies, we're friends, and we're doing things like this together just blows me away. Billy has been one of my favorite drummers for so many years. Since that night of me watching the NSYNC concert, I bought his instructional video. That same video came with a CD with instrumentals. I wore that CD out because I wanted to sound like Billy so bad. He has been such an influence to my playing, so this is such, such an honor, such a big deal for me. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a song that I wrote called Bonsuri Overture, featuring none other than Mr. Billy Ashbaugh. Enjoy it. 